Hello, this is Ryan with Deepwood Handcraft. I've got a couple of new things we just finished up on a couple of projects. So I figured I'd make a quick video and show those things. It's been uh, really nice and sunny out here the past couple of days. Even if it is a bit windy and still a bit cold out, it's, uh, it's been pretty good to be able to get out into the sunshine. So I've brought it out here into the woods a little bit today. Um, so we're gonna get into this show you what we've just finished up on and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so first I just wanted to show you this setup here. Um, these things are all going to one person, at least some of them. So uh, in this little kit, we've got a shoulder bag, same kind of braiding as the last couple I've done around the edges. This one's got a buckle on it. Nice size, uh, side pockets with the antler toggles this one's uh, strap is separate from the body here and it runs through uh, some loops on the back and on the front lid so you can put like an axe on the top there like I've got mine here or you put a tarp or a wool blanket under the bottom. There's plenty of slack on this strap and an extra keeper so that uh, you know you can carry some extra gear other than just in the bag. You can carry it on the bag's body as well. So that's the shoulder bag. And we've got this drop leg pouch. You've seen this before. Um, you know it's just a simple idea. It's pretty much a, a belt pouch. Set on a drop leg dangler. I left the extra slack keeper at home, so I've just tucked that in there. Beside it up here on the belt, we've got the Bacall Laplander saw sheath. Now this is the version that's done in a waxed water buffalo. It's got some veg tan around the side to give it a nice two-tone look. It's just a good way to uh, keep your saw with you. It's nice and tight in there. It's form fitted to the saw body so it's not going to fall out of there on you. There's some extra brass D's on the back here to, if you want to hang it from your bag or hang it up at camp or whatever you want to do with that. And then of course on this side, the thing I like about these shoulder bags is you can just kind of put them where you want them to go. If I wanted to ride on my back there, it's going to ride on my back, you know. That way I can get to my knives and whatever else I got going on here. I've also recently just finished this Hudson Bay pattern sheath for a trade French trade era knife. These rivets will patina up over time. They'll get kind of their own uh, color and stain on them make them look nice and old to match the sheath so a customer wanted something old-fashioned Hudson Bay era so that's it also I just had a quick order for some ditty bags and I don't really have anything in these to give you a, a good idea of size or shape but a set of three ditty bags you know, just simple drawstring bags, a little D-ring on the back so that if you want to keep this one in your pocket, give you a pull to pull it out of your pocket. Then one a bit larger for like a uh, fire kit or something. Put quite a bit of stuff into this bag. It's got the same D-ring kind of thing on the back. Just fancy it up a little bit, give you a way to hang it in your bag or off your bag.
Yep. Just to be able to organize your kit within your kit. Some ditty bags. Help that process a little bit. So uh, that's pretty much what we've been working on recently. Uh, I've got a couple other things in the works that we're going to be finishing up here pretty soon. But uh, just to give you an idea of some of the some of the options you can have on some of this stuff, it's really just limited to whatever you want on it. Really, everything we do is custom. So um, I'm getting my website up. It's uh, www.deepwoodsleather.com. I'll put a link to that in the description. Um, it's not there yet, but uh, it's uh, coming along pretty quick now. So next couple of weeks, that ought to be all up and running. Um, so stop on by and give us a shout. If you see something you like, uh, we can talk. If you have any questions, I can answer them best of my ability. Um, till then, that's it for me. Have a nice day.